Okay, so I'm going to do this reading. Oh, there's a lot of cards that came out last night, so I'm going to do focus on um, some of the side, mes side messages that I got first. But um, I was going to try and do it on my phone, but there's just too many cards, so we'll just go with the flow and I'll try to explain as best as I can. So, um, yeah, so let me give the first side messages, these messages. So uh, we got apologize with dreams and loving yourself. Okay, these three cards. So I feel like in dream time, in astral, in your dreams, there could be something with an apology. Um, I feel, or um, the more that you put this love with, on yourself, it's like this self-love that is your dream come true, which brings in your dream. So, um, however it resonates. So, I feel like there's an apology um, in your dreams, or something to do with dreams and apologies, or in forgiveness for loving yourself. Okay, so that's a little mini message. Okay, and then we've got Archangel Michael came out with crystals in the solar plexus. So you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting, guiding you through the situation. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your, pre your present situation. So any crystals that you're guided to work with, uh, will assist you in that power center, the solar plexus, and Archangel Michael is assisting you right now. Okay, so we got those two. <clears throat> What's really awesome about this reading is we've got triple justice. Okay, we've got three justice cards from three different decks. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uncover uncover some of this and we'll get to it so bear with me please so I left this message on the table the one that we got yesterday of surrendering to love to unconditional love surrendering to the union um, what's really cool is we've got the masculine and the feminine over here. We have a couple. We've got the Queen of Wands, and then we've got the King of Wands with the Four of Pentacles right in the center. So there's, I feel like there's, and it's like right above the choices with quick communication. We've got two Eight of Wands. So something quick, quick communication. But it's like they're both looking at this Four of Pentacles. Is like holding on to that one pinnacle there that represents the union, the connection. So there's something that is is solid and not letting go of that. With uh, strength and temperance as well. So this is that divine timing with temperance, the angel of temperance and strength <sighs> that you need to have on this journey. Okay, so that's kind of. I feel like a theme here is strength and temperance. So, okay. Another message we have too is be still in gratitude. Okay, be still going within and be still in that gratitude. Gratitude and be still. Okay. And the Knight of Swords going towards the Ace of Cups and sun and the Sun. So beautiful. I feel like we got this recently in the last two weeks with masculine energy with the Knight of Swords. And this is communication, wanting to speak truth, and it's quick. And it's it's going towards self-love, happiness, success, uh, all that. Joy, bliss, um, you know, children, if they're if there's um, it's just overall happiness, it's really beautiful energy right here. I love it. So that's overall theme I feel with with strength assisting and the angel of temperance. It's like gauging when it is the right time, divine timing here. Okay. So what is this? This goes over here. Okay. Hmm. All right. So. 
We've got the Empress here, and we've got the Chariot. So we've got Divine Feminine, Queen of Wands energy. Very powerful, sitting on her throne. Right above the Lighthouse, so she is the Lighthouse. Okay. Guiding the Masculine home with this Eight of Wands. So I really love the Eight of Wands because it's all about communication, messages, you know, um, passion, just quick quick movement here and then we have the chariot representing the divine masculine and the king of wands so very focused and determined very focused and determined and the chariot again comes up okay so in the past four of cups uh, past situation is was like ignored this divine blessing okay which was the ten of pentacles in the star this divine destiny okay um as the chariot okay representing the chariot here with justice okay so it was unbalanced maybe in the past it was an unfair so what that's why we need the strength and the temperance angels and it's part of the sacred journey as i'll talk about a little bit but, um, yeah, it's like, this is the Ten of Pentacles, is that legacy, that home, uh, stability, and the star is healing destiny, representing the Divine Feminine. So, the, in the past, um, ignoring the call, so to speak. And so, it's really coming to the forefront, very clear for the masculine, because we also have the Six of Swords, so wanting to move towards calmer waters out of a hard time, okay, towards peace. What's so awesome, though, like I said, is triple justice here. Look at all these cards of justice. Justice, justice, and justice. So this is divine intervention. This is divine justice, balancing the scales. Um... You know, karmic retribution, justice, triple. Okay, that's powerful. Triple justice. So that is really cool to see. Which is really anchoring this, the higher truth of this connection. Okay, so let's get some other messages. And and what's interesting is some of these mes messages. Uh, reflect what I said yesterday in my video when I talked about um, my experience. Uh, you'll see in the reading. Okay, so we have, you have no idea how badly I want to hold you in my arms, message from Divine Masculine, with, here it is, my heart feels like it's going to explode. I talked about that yesterday. And this opportunity beckons, okay, I feel like for the Masculines specifically, to trust, take that leap of faith. This is the full energy. Okay, to we've got reaching out with heart chakra and crown chakra, and that's a 47. Um, yeah, so that heart chakra connected to the crown chakra, the higher intuition that that connection that goes beyond um, just the mind so it's like reaching out this is that massive opportunity so keeping an open mind there's a clarity the ace of swords clarity of belief of keep an open mind and forgiving and learning so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments and so the angels are assisting with that, so we have this clarity of belief and keep keeping an open mind of how this all manifests. Okay, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, and just in general, just in general, I mentioned this yesterday. Just keeping an open mind and surrendering. We have surrender here too. Surrendering to what the divine has planned for you. So. This is really beautiful. That forgiving and learning, that forgiving and learning is key. Okay, and it's going to take that great strength, great courage, like the lion here. But I, what I love is this 
the heart chakra and the crown chakra and there's this beautiful merge between the two connecting the heart to that over soul connection okay so move those out of the way a lot a lot of cards okay okay a lot of cards for divine masculine let's see Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Cups with the Death card. Again, I feel like we keep getting that. Actually, we've got Death card, Death card twice. Major transformation, an ending of some sort of major chapter closing. The Nine of Wands is here. So this is a wounded warrior energy. A, a perseverance, perse perseverance through this journey. Um, but yeah, with the Eight of Cups and the Death card there, it's movement okay some movement going walking away from the past and going towards a brighter future okay so which is that release that death energy so what's over here okay there's so many messages I tell us I'm saying all right <laughs> that's why I had to do it this way so we've got the Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. So I feel like this is messages about, like a message coming in in regards to and expressing um, emotions of, of past um, conflict, hurt, um, betrayal, all that kind of just lower vibrational energies having to clear out of the way. Any darkness that's like igniting this new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. So this is a message with that. There's a lot of wands out here too, because we've got the King of Wands, we've got the Queen of Wands, an Ace page, the Nine of Wands, we've got the Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of fiery energy, lots of lots of fire energy. So I feel like messages of this is regret, feeling sadness. I feel like the masculine, you know, is really trying to persevere in this journey. You know, same as feminine, but it's just a little different. Okay, and this other stack of cards. I got so many cards. Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah. So I'll try my best to explain. We got the Eight of Swords with with uh, with the Devil right here in reverse. So it's like getting the King of Swords, King of Swords, knowing his truth, getting unstuck, taking the the blindfold off and realizing that it was all just is a lot of mental um, entrapment mind games stuff like that toxic um, this is this energy is with like karmic energy so realizing the truth because we got the we got the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Emperor overall energy so he's being the King of Swords and the Emperor so Emperor is really standing up I feel like to this uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse so it's definitely like a toxic um, or codependent uh, situation okay and with the moon we've got the moon in reverse so things coming out things being revealed secrets being revealed the darkness coming out because this is the completion we have the world here the Knight of Wands is like really wants to like move, finding a way to move quickly through this. Okay, so that was like a mouthful. That was a lot to say. Okay, so that's why we have triple justice here. Triple justice. I love it. What else? Okay. So this is really interesting. Look at this darkest fears and I think we got this before but darkest fear so this is this is really interesting the darkest like their the fears is leading this love in the physical like doing it and see how their the higher self is behind the masculine and is assisting he's holding the scrolls and uh, this is the lover's card so that is that is like a huge message. It's very powerful. Like darkest fears in grounding this connection and leading the way. So there's anxiety and fears around that, right? So that's the main message, and that's a very powerful message. That's that's those challenging times. Okay. 
challenging times. Okay, the darkest fears around that. How how would that even happen? You know, it's just believing in the possible and embracing you in this world and as a divine masculine and working through these challenging times and it's like there's a lot with observing and I notice with this see how there there's all these there's all these hands you know it's like the masses I feel like there's there's a lot with their physical life and lots of hands like reaching oh you know to take from the mask and give me give me give me you know and so he's observing from all different perspectives getting lots of insights and he knows that there's something that has to be released okay with the debt so they got the death card twice so it's like once this is what will assist in these challenging times and all these darkest fears okay is removing the layers and shedding all of that through and letting the light come in letting the light come in and it is that is like the darkest fear okay, that's what it's saying so but it says the sacred journey the pathway here the sacred journey it's like going round and round in this okay it's like going round and round on this loop and it's still going okay this karmic lesson and then finally it's like it shoots off and it goes a different pathway and it takes surrender, it takes trusting spirit and letting it guide you, listening to your intuition because there's hope here, right? I was talking about hope, I was talking about faith and then soul fragments, I mentioned soul fragments so this says balance will be restored and so focus on the light here and when you let the light enter any of the shadows it will be brought up to the surface and be released and so this is the main huge part of the masculine's journey I feel is this right here is letting that light come through and peeling off the old skin it's like the old skins you know the old old ways and releasing that so it's massive it's massive right so um What other message? Oh, let's do this one. Okay, so we did get the lovers. Okay, the lovers here. Nine of Wands. So it's, again, with the Nine of Wands, it's been hard. It's challenging. You persevere. You keep going. And the Six of Coins came up reverse. So it's like in the Twin Flame, twin flame connection, there's been like imbalances. It's been hard, hard, you know, like having I mean, just feels like climbing mountain and and then but we get the to the ten of wands. We re, we go to the ten of wands, okay? From the nine of wands to the ten of wands. So that's a completion. And then we got the six of cups with the fool. Six of swords are like that goes over here. So because I was like, wow man, that's some and the lovers, the twin flames, have to go through this, this you know, imbalance, balancing the, their energies out. But it comes to a completion with the Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Fool with Judgment. That's some beautiful energy here. It's reconnecting to what started in the first place, the unconditional love that never ends. It's always there, okay? And it's taking that leap of faith, the Fool, okay? Again with the Fool, second card um, of that full energy taking that leap of faith that's a big jump okay and that's the judgment call here that's the judgment call as source is um like what it's like the angel um wake up call like awakening uh let's go like it's a judgment call basically so that's really beautiful so okay what else? So this is now we've got also got the hanged man in reverse. So the masculine is definitely is awake, is awakening even more. And I'm gonna try my best to explain these cards in whatever order I got them. Okay. So we have worlds within worlds, and it feels like we've got worlds within worlds. Let me just put them down like that with. 
between worlds, new directions, okay. The crown chakra, the golden crown, I've been talking about that a while, the last reading, a lot with the crown chakra in this connection. So it's like worlds within worlds, lifetime after lifetime, there's this new direction I feel. Um, it's also going from the 3D matrix into the energy of the 5D earth, and I feel like the masculine is receiving these downloads, and even if it's not completely consciously aware, there's a part of them that is aware of it, and that's their awakened spirit using their intuition, their desire to change through intuition, connecting to their... Hmm, their soul there which is your which is your soul if you're twin flame you are one so really beautiful here this desire to change coming from intuition channel your knowledge okay you're here to channel your knowledge masculine and feminine channel this golden crown knowledge and um there's time out. Okay, so this time out is necessary. Time out representing going within so that you can channel this knowledge. And we've got unconditional love here. Beautiful. So this unconditional love is the fuel. It is the core energy that is driving this connection. And it takes um, patience. Patience. It takes patience and compassion to walk your truth and to transform. I mean, it's, it seems like very easy the way I just said it, <laughs> but it does take that. It's a process. It takes that um, forgiving and learning and going through the journey. But the energy is just so beautiful with... Um, with unconditional love being the primary factor here, which is guiding this transformation. And see, little sparks are coming through. It's like, and I feel like with the masculine, though these little sparks are lighting up, lighting up whatever darkness and shadows are within them so that they can walk their truth. Okay? It's like putting that, your handprint on the world, and, and it's like, I am here. I am showing up. It's like, I am showing up. This is a knight of swords of bringing in messages. Uh, I'm showing up and I want the sun. Like I want ultimate fulfillment and happiness and love. Divine love. Okay. And so to transform and to walk your truth, it does take patience and giving yourself this beautiful compassion, being compassionate for yourself. Okay. And we've got love and light. Act with care. Beautiful, okay. Love and light. These messages, I swear, I keep getting this message over and over from my twin sire. So, love is all around you. Love is all around you. This came out <laughs> again. There's love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So there is a lot about choice, um, being authentic. Definitely. I keep getting that card about the, about the doorways and which doorway to go through. That period that we are going towards fear, going towards love. But love is all around you. I don't know if I showed them, so I'm going to show these. Be willing to express love. Be authentic. Be authentic and when you choose your love and be your authentic self. Okay, so let's get um, oh, and these messages. Again, this message keeps coming out. I am fighting for us. Okay, you inspire me. You are my wish come true. And I felt for a long time I was unworthy of this love. Like I didn't deserve you. So this has a lot to do with that worthiness. And so be gratitude, you know, be still in your gratitude, in your gratefulness. And I mean, that already shifts your consciousness. Like, so let's get um, just a couple messages. Spirit. 
spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance and peace and harmony. Uh, thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. And balance. Wow, there's a lot of scales out here. That's really cool. That's the fourth scale. So, yeah, karmic completion, divine justice, and the angels are working like over time for these, these connections. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. There you go. So that is powerful. Triple justice. Quadruple justice. Making things right. Uh, completion. Balancing the scales and stuff like that. So that's really, really awesome. I love it. Do I have any more messages? Holy, I just split the deck and we've got the Ace of Swords. So yes, this is the truth. That's confirmation. When you get the Ace of Swords like that, that's like, yes, you're right on point. We are working overtime for these connections and balancing out the scales. And so just trust. Um, yeah, just go ahead and Surrender, trust. Uh, how about a message for the masculines? Let's give some masculines a guidance. What guidance can you give the masculines today? The sacred self, the Shekinah. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So this, yeah, it's like knowing your inner, it's like your power, your inner power unleash your spirit Ooh, command oh yeah that's what i'm saying commander ashtar is out here call to action take charge lead by example walk your talk just like when we had the i'm not going to get it out because it's buried underneath there um but walk your truth is totally in line alignment for this uh divine masculine so that's really awesome you're you're being called to action that's why you're going through these darkest fears and um, it's major transformation. You're being called to, your higher self is calling you to action in regards to your, your life, in regards to your twin flame. Uh, one, let's get one for Divine Feminine guidance. Yeah, oh, Divine Feminine, just keep your heart open. Keep working on that heart chakra. It's a lot of pink. Look at the rose. Oh, how beautiful. Divine Feminine, the sacred rose, the softening of your heart, experiencing grace. Let grace assist you in this. Okay. Share your gifts with grace. Wow. This is talking about unleash your spirit. The masses are being called to ex express their gifts and, and unleash their spirit. And also the feminine is being called to share their gifts. Okay, and waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. And then Lady Nada, heart awakening, awaken to acceptance and divine love, give and receive in balance. That is cool, really beautiful. Divine feminine guidance for you. So I think I'll end it at that. Beautiful reading. Blessings. Blessings. Okay.